It's mock draft season, and I know this because I just found out I'm drafting at the 11. Oh, I hate the 11. Uh, I haven't done one yet this season, but to, to me, the 11, every year I have bad luck with it, and, and I have catastrophic injuries. Juju Smith-Schuster cost me one year. Julio Jones cost me another year. Hell, Alvin Kamara last year, I thought I was getting value because he was on the board at 11, and that cost me too because he played like shit. The only reason why I fell that far is because everybody thought that he was going to be suspended, and he never did. I thought I got a steal. Turns out I just got stolen. Anyway, uh, PPR, 12-man, um, one quarterback, two wide receiver, two uh, running back, one flex, blah, blah, blah. Very standard stuff, and we are starting the mock right now. Number one off the board, we have Jamar, T Jamar Chase, McCaffrey, Justin Jefferson, Travis Kelsey, Austin Eckler, Bijan, Bijan at the six. And then we got Cooper Cup at the seven, Tyreek, Saquon, and CD Lamb at the 10. So I'm going to turn this down, actually, because that was way louder than I thought it would be. Where the hell is that button? Last time I filmed one of these mocks, all you heard was a beeping. It was obnoxious. Anyway, so my options are I got Diggs, Taylor, uh, Brown, Mahomes, Adams, Chubb, um, St. Brown. So right here, the one who kind of snuck through the cracks, uh, supposedly is getting good draft feedback from everybody. Hey, he's no longer a head case. He's getting along great with Josh. Uh, he's getting along great with management. Magically, everything is fixed with Stefan Diggs. I don't know what happened, but you know what? If I could take him at the 11 with one of the best quarterbacks in the NFL, I'm going to jump at that. So Stefan is off the board. Uh, A.J. Brown is next by Team 12 and Jonathan Taylor by Team 12. Uh, so I'm back on the board. I got Mahomes. I got Adams, Chubb, St. Brown. Henry's still on the board. Remember, this is PPR, so Henry's a little scary. Uh, Garrett Wilson, Waddle, Jacobs, Allen. Right now, I'm kind of thinking running back. I really like Chubb this year in a PPR. I think that Deshaun Watson is going to actually make people afraid of the passing game the past couple years without quarterbacks Chubb has just gotten a big old box just like Derrick Henry but now with uh, Deshaun you got to respect they got Amari Cooper like they have a legit offense this year Henry um, I really like Tony Pollard Tony Pollard is super high on my list so it's between Chubb Pollard and going double wide receiver with Devontae Adams. Devontae Adams every year is a value because nobody thinks he could get as high as he is. And guess what? Last year he was like the wide receiver 10, ended up being like the four or, or five. I mean, it doesn't matter what quarterback he's with, he's very successful because he's the best wide receiver uh, receiver in the NFL. If you gave if I had my choice between Aaron Rodgers and Devontae Adams or Aaron Rodgers and Justin Jefferson, I think I'd take Adams. I think he's that good. Anyway, I'm boring you to death. Do I want to go Adams? Do I want to go running back? I'm going to check out one wide receiver, one um, running back. And the reason is when it comes all the way back around, because I got like 22 fucking picks until it's my turn again. If I go double wide receiver now, I have to go double running back next time. And that's kind of sucks to be hamstrung like that. So let's see what that looks like. I'm going to skip over Chubb. I think Tony Pollard's going to get more work. I think they got a better offense to, uh, altogether and a better team, more scoring opportunities. Deshaun, as much as I think he could bring a lot of positivity to that offense, he could be fucking terrible like he was last season. Last season, he looked like shit. We are banking on the fact that we think he's going to be old Deshaun after a whole off season, but we'll see what actually happens. <clears throat> Tony Pollard off the board. Pat Mahomes came in next. Devontae Adams um, at the 204. Nick Chubb, Jalen Waddle, Derek Henry, Amase Brown, Josh Jacobs, Garrett Wilson, um, Raheem, uh, Raheem, uh, Ramondre Stevenson. Boy, did I butcher that one. Sorry, bud. Uh, Josh Allen at the um, at the 212. And then Mark Andrews. So look at that number one guy. He's got Jamar Chase at the one. Josh Allen and Mark Andrews. That's like the beginning of a pretty solid team. Brees Hall. I don't know if you heard the news, but it sounds like Dalvin Cook might go. So you got Brees Hall coming back from an injury. Dalvin Cook might get signed there. He said it's pretty um, probable that I will get signed there so that's pretty scary then you got Jalen Hurts you got Najee Harris uh, Chris Olave um, Devontae Smith Devontae Smith in the third wow T Higgins um, Keenan Allen uh, Travis Etienne and DK Metcalf and I'm on the clock now because I didn't go double wide receiver I get my choice so I'm excited about that let's see what we got we got Burrow Jackson Gibbs Walker um Deshaun Deshaun uh, Debo Samuel uh, Aaron Rodgers Hawkinson Mixon man this is not as pretty as I thought it would be. I really don't like drafting at the 11 right now. 
Sanders, Madison, wide receivers. Samuel, Ridley, Cooper, Hopkins. Hopkins now with Tennessee. Oh, man, you know what? I might, I might go Debo Samuel here. Gibbs. So what scares me about Gibbs is he's kind of a third down back. But then again, they paid a lot of money to Montgomery to go there. So, you know, what's going on with that? So then you got Walker, and they even uh, went up for Chardonnay, a second-round pick. So I don't think he's going to be a bell cow anymore. Aaron, uh, Aaron Jones could be a bell cow. But then again, I mean, Jordan Love, I'm not excited about Jordan Love. Mixon, you know what? A lot of people forget Mixon took a pay cut to re-sign. And they're a phenomenal offense. So in my opinion, I think that's the running back to get. Because Gibbs is not a bell cow. Walker, not a bell cow. Aaron Jones could be good. But then again, they got that big old dude right behind him. What the hell's his name? He's a guy where they took that picture with his quad was just enormous. A.J. Dillon? A.J. Dillon. And then you got Mixon. So in my opinion, Mixon is the only bell cow there. Gibbs is on the board or off the board. Aaron Jones is off the board. Now let me take a little sneak peek of wide receivers. I got Debo, Ridley, Cooper, all great options. Hopkins. I mean, this is beautiful. I love this. So let's look at offenses. San Francisco, going to score. It sounds like Brock Purdy will be there. And Debo said he's in the best shape of his life. That could be positive. Um, Ridley, he could be the number one for Trevor Lawrence. I've heard a lot of positive things about that. Cooper is the number one. Hopkins is the number one. All great options. I almost wish I skipped over a mix and I went double wide receiver. So out of these, do I want to gamble with Ridley? Do I go with a sure thing with Amari Cooper or the sure thing with Hopkins? Well, the Tennessee Titans don't throw the ball a shitload. I think I'm going to go with Cooper. Yep, I'm going to go with Cooper rather than gambling with Calvin Ridley. It could bite me in the ass, but Calvin Ridley could not even be the number one target. I mean, who knows? He's never really played with Trevor Lawrence. DeAndre Hopkins comes off the board next. Lamar Jackson, Kenneth Walker, Joe Burrow, TJ Hawkinson, Debo Samuel. Calvin Ridley went all the way to the 4-9. Crazy. George Kittle, Justin Herbert, J.K. Dobbins, Terry McLaurin, D.J. Moore, uh, Calvin, uh, not Calvin, Christian Watson, Justin Fields. Justin Fields, a 5'4". Wow. Uh, Damian Pierce, uh, Miles Sanders. What a great grab. I love that. Uh, Dallas Goddard, jo Goddard Jerry Judy, uh, uh, Drake, uh, and Waller. So I'm back on the clock. We got Lawrence right there. Um, Godwin, Pitts, Madison, uh, Swift, Cook, Akers, Connor. So right here, the one that's jumping out to immediately is Madison. A lot of good camp reports came out where the offensive coordinator said, I trust him anywhere. And I love that shit because I was worried he'd only be the one, two back. So if he's a one, two, three back, that could be the guy to grab. I'm going to think I'm going to go for uh, Madison and see if Pitts falls to me at the six, two. Let's see what happens there. I'm going to go with Madison. I think that's a solid grab. Trevor Lawrence, Chris Godwin. So he did fall to me. Now, do I really want that? So I got Swift on the clock, Kyle Pitts, Cook. Um, Dalvin Cook's more than likely going to be a Jet. Uh, Cam Akers, Connor Pittman, Brandon Ayuk, uh, Marquise Hollywood-Brown. Um, right here, I think the guy with the biggest upside and at a really tough position to fill is tight end because it's really Travis Kelsey, Mark Andrews, sometimes Kittle, you know, and everybody else is a gamble. And I love the upside and, and the passing options, uh, or I don't love the passing options in Atlanta. I think it's just Kyle Pitts. And in a PPR, I'm going to go for it. Fuck it. Let's see what my team looks like when I go early on a tight end. And for me, early is a six round. Cam Akers, DeAndre Swift, uh, Dalvin Cook, Alvin Kamara at the 6'6". Six, six. Crazy. Mike Evans, James Conner, uh, Pittman, uh, Javante Williams, Marquise Brown, Tyler Lockett, uh, Rash Rashard White, Brandon Ayuk, Isaiah Pacheco, Mike Williams at the 7-4. Last year, I drafted him at like the 212. It sucked because he didn't do nothing. Oh, he had like two good games. Um, George Pickens, Dak Prescott, Montgomery, Jackson Smith, Najigba, or JSN. And we have Christian Kirk and James Cook. I'm back on the clock. I'm only going to go probably two more rounds because nobody gives a shit about kicker and, and defense. I've been trying to get my team, I've been trying to get my league to get rid of kicker and get an extra flex for years, but they love kickers. They drive me up the wall. It's like the girlfriend that just won't go away. I want to get rid of kickers. My team sucks. Not my team. My league sucks. Um, I got uh, Johnson, Jordan Addison, Trey, Traylon Burks, Dotson, Evan Ingram, Pat Firemuth, uh, Watson's there, A.J. Dillon. Watson in a little stack with Cooper, huh? That might be kind of cool. All right, let's keep looking. Um, Kadarius Tony, um, AJ, yeah, so this is really starting to thin out. Let's peek at wide receivers because I only have two, three. What do we got? We got Diggs and Cooper, and then I got three running backs. So Jordan Addison, Burks, 
Dotson, Kadarius Tony, Brandon Cooks. Brandon Cooks is in Dallas, by the way. I had to look that shit up. Michael Thomas. Michael Thomas. Uh, there you go. Uh, Juju Smith Schuster. Let's look at running backs. Dylan Gibbs. Brian. Let's go wide receiver. I'm going to need to. Ooh. You know what? My little sleeper this year is Rashard Penny. I think I might pick him up. I think I I love him this year, and this is why he had the most um, uh, yards after contact, the most uh, the highest percentage of breakaway plays last year. And yes, he always gets hurt. But I mean, I'm in the seventh round. This guy is on one of the best offenses in the NFL, the uh, Eagles. Not to mention they have the best offensive line. And sure, they have a running back by committee. But I think his his skill, his, his ability to run the ball, his vision is better than anybody on the team. So I'm going to bank on the player doing a better job. So I would rather have that than a Deshaun Watson uh, and um, Amari Cooper stack. So Rashard Penny's mine now. Jordan Addison's off the board. So is Traylon Burke. And I have my choice now. I, I got to go wide receiver at some point. Uh, Dotson, I heard great things from him in camp. Kadarius Tony is already hurt again. Brandon Cooks is always a value no matter where you draft him from. I don't love any of these wide receivers. I really don't. I really don't love them. So maybe I will. Uh, Zach Charbonnet, Samaj P. Ryan. Maybe I will draft a quarterback here. I'm going to go Deshaun Watson. Much as I didn't want to, I wanted a wide receiver, but nothing jumped out at me, and I wasn't going to force it. You know, I could get lucky and grab him or maybe trade. I have a lot of good running backs and maybe trade in the future. Maybe I'll get a good waiver wire for a uh, uh, wide receiver. Anyway, uh, Deontay Johnson off the board, Pat Fryermuth, uh, Jonah Dotson, AJ, Dylan, Kadarius, Tony, uh, Juju. Excuse me. Um, Antonio Gibson, Jamal Williams, Evan Ingram, Brian Robinson, Quinton Johnson, Brandon Cooks, Michael Thomas, Tua Tunga Vailua, Dalton Schultz, uh, Anthony Richardson, the rookie off the board, Khalil Herbert, great grab at the 9 7, uh, David Njoku, Samaj P. Ryan, and Gabe Davis. So now I'm back on the clock. I got one tight end, one quarterback. I got Rashard Penny, Alexander Madison, Joe Mixon, and Tony Pollard. I love it. Wide receivers, I got Diggs, who I think is elite. Amari Cooper with Deshaun Watson stack. I'm really enjoying this draft so far. Maybe the 11th isn't that bad. Anyway, I'm going to look at wide receivers before I pull the plug on this draft. Zay Flowers out of Baltimore. Um, I have Sutton, Cortland Sutton, Elijah Moore. I think I'm going to double up a wide receiver, and hopefully one of these assholes hits. I've heard great things out of Zay Flowers so far. So Rashard Bateman is never healthy. He's already not healthy. Um, and then you're banking on Odell Beckham Jr. He's like 30, 31, and he's always in health injury. Um, I think Zay Flowers is going to be their number one out there. I really do. So I'm going to grab him. See who comes around back to me. Kirk's off the board. Sutton's off the board. I wanted Sutton, but he didn't come my way. And then I think I'm going to go with, I don't want Beckham. Um, Williams, no. There's Rashard Bateman. I was just talking shit about him. Adam Thielen, Meyer, Moore, Mooney, Tyler Boyd. Oh, man. Wide receivers are ugly. So a little mental note for myself for next draft is maybe when I went Alexander Madison, I should have gone a wide receiver. Because at the 11 with a traditional snake draft where people are kind of close to ADP, I don't see a ton of people I like after the fucking, what, the fourth round? Yeah, after Amar Amari Cooper. I haven't seen a single wide receiver. I wouldn't say Flowers because I felt forced into it, not because I was in love with it. So right here is probably going to be my last pick of the draft just because then at that point, it's all just fucking dart throws. Um, do I go more? But I already got a Cleveland guy. Odell Beckham, I was just talking shit about him. Let's look at running backs. Charbonnet. I might go Zach Charbonnet. I like that. Uh, Devon A-Chain, he's uh, with Miami. I think that'd be a good grab because you got Raheem Mostert out there. You got Jeff William. He is their young rookie. I mean, that could be awesome. You know what? I'm going to go with another um, guy, Damian Harris. He's available in the... 10th. So Damian Harris, what I like about him is his PFF rating is like a 92 average. Over the past five, six, no, three years, everybody who averaged a 92 PFF rating literally all went in the first round as a running back. So Damian Harris is on a new team. He's got to prove himself. He's got what? Um, he's got Cook out there. How many? They got a shitload of running backs in the Bills land, but nobody's as good, in my opinion, as a traditional running back, not a, a fancy third down back like uh, James Cook. And I think he's eventually going to win the starting role too. So I'm going to go again on running back. And if I need to, I could trade one of these superstar running backs or, or sleeper that panned out for me for a better wide receiver. Cause right now I literally just have three.
So after that, Zach Charbonnet, who was going to be my other pick, came off the board. Aaron Rodgers, Geno Smith, Elijah Moore, Alan Lazard, uh, Danny Dimes. Uh, there's Devon A. Chain, Jameson William, Odell Beckham, Jarek McKinnon. Um, you have Dalton uh, Kincaid, Cole Komet, Rashard Bateman, Elijah Mitchell, Jared Goff, um, uh, Okonkwo. I can oh, struggle when I say his name. Um, Adam Thielen, Greg uh, Dulcich, Darnell Mooney, and Jacoby Myers. And you know what? Screw it. Let's do one more round. It's fun. It's a Saturday. I got more Boyd Sky Moore. I think I'm going to gamble. I'm going to go Sky Moore because who, what other wide receivers do they have out there? Kadarius Tony is hurt. Uh, of course, you have um, uh, Travis Kelsey, but like that's it. They don't have much. So I'm going to gamble Sky Moore, see if it pops up. Um, I really liked what I saw from uh, Rondell Moore last year. Tyler Boyd's a stud, uh, but I would need a couple people to go down. I don't see another guy. Oh, you know what? Maybe I'll take two shots. I'll go with the rookie from Kansas City and the rookie from the prior year, Sky Moore, and maybe one of them, maybe one of them. Gets a starting job. Maybe they're number two. Number two for Pat Mahomes would be beautiful. But I think between the two, one of those two are going to be the number one wide receiver because I got faith in nobody else on that side. Uh, Kadarius Tony's always fucking injured. So because I went an extra round, let's wrap this up. Tyler Higby. Rondell Moore, Tyler Boyd, Russell Wilson at the 12-6. I drafted him in the 6 last year. Stupid fucking idea, by the way. Uh, Singletary's off the board. He's in Houston now, if you weren't paying attention. Uh, Mingo, uh, Devonta Foreman, Tank Bigsby, uh, Kendra Miller. Philadelphia's Eagles defense is off the board. Um, Cowboys is off the board as well. How did I miss that one? Anyway, uh, Ezekiel Elliott, San Francisco 49ers, Tucker, uh, Evan McPherson, Buffalo Bills, uh, Carlson, Harrison Butker, Baltimore Ravens, New York Jets, and Miami Dolphins. That wraps up my draft. Um, what are we, a, a hair of, what, 18 minutes? That's not too bad. I'm going to go ahead and talk about my team real quick and let you know where I think I fucked up. Uh, I got Deshaun Watson. That's not bad, considering I got him in the eighth round. Tony Pollard, he was in my second round. Joe Mixon, he was almost at the back of the third, beginning of the fourth. Stephon Diggs, Amari Cooper, Kyle Pitts, Alexander Madison in the flex. I got Rashard Penny. Got high hopes for him this year. Zay Flowers, Damian Harris, again, high hopes. Sky Moore and Rashid Rice. With all that said, that wraps up my draft. I got another one coming out for you because I have another league getting a hold of me telling me what my draft position is, and I'll go ahead and do a mock draft of that soon. I hope everybody has an amazing day.